Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Don't Shit on My Effing Roof. Um, and ironically, this was recommended to me by my editor, whose online alias is Scarecrow. Uh, so I guess he really, really has something against birds, which is why I recommended this. Anyway, we're going to get into it. And uh, basically, this is me. That's my house behind me. You can see I'm throwing like oranges. Uh, they're actually bullets. And when I kill a bird, they leave a little fiery thing. And when I pick them up, I get some XP. Now, you'll notice there's not only orange flamey things, but there's also blue ones as well. Um, and if we go and see, so if you look at the bottom of the screen, there's two bars, an orange one and a blue bar. And basically, the orange one is my XP. So for every bird we kill, we get a bit of orange. And for every bird with a hard hat we kill, yes, there's engineer birds in this game. Uh, we get some XP for our house because our house in the middle here, we are going to be leveling that up. Anyway, we've just leveled ourselves up. So what are we going to take here? The top and bottom, they're like an elemental sort of attack. And um, so that does like a fireball. This bottom one fires lightning. Um, but I, I quite like the sound of the middle one. It deals 50% extra damage from my bullets and the size of my bullets increases by 50% as well. So yeah, we'll take that and then you'll see my bullets are going quicker. Um, can you see that bird with an exclamation mark? That means he's trying to poo on my roof. Now, thankfully, I did just shoot him, so he's dead. Um, but that's something we've got to be careful of because whilst most of these birds, they sort of ignore my house, they just try and head towards me. Uh, the odd one, if they've got an exclamation mark above their head, they are trying to poo on my roof. And if they manage it in the top left, I will lose a heart. Now, thankfully, we do upgrade our house every so often. Now, it's just leveled up, so we get to pick an upgrade. Um, we can make it through barrels randomly. We can make it through the fireballs. Um, I'm actually going to re-roll, and then I think we're going to do Bob the Builder for Dummies. Increases experience gains of the house by 50% and increases our pickup range. So yeah, that sounds good. If we can upgrade quicker, uh, we're going to get more upgrades in the end. Uh, likewise, I've just upgraded myself. I'm going to take Vampire Crown, which increases the gains for the player by 50%. Um, and increases our pickup range again. So basically, I'm just, I have to pick up less of these little flamey things in order to upgrade. And of course, that means we upgrade more often. Nice. All right, anyway, I've just leveled up again and I'm loving the sound of this top one. Gation's fan. Every six shots, it fires a fan of 10 bullets around me and it increases my bullet damage by 40%. I think for a bullet build, that is the way to go. So basically, if we just stand here, yeah, it shoots that. Oh, that is gonna be, that is gonna save my ass a bit later on, I think. When things get complicated, when the pigeons are really trying to poo on my roof, that is really gonna help. All right, we'll take those ones out. There was one with an exclamation mark there, trying to poo on my roof. There's another one there. No, you will not poo on my roof, mate. Dirty pigeons. Anyway, we've we've leveled up again. I might take the middle one. Every four shots, we throw a bomb in a random direction. That also increases our bullet damage by 10% as well. So yep, definitely take that. And you'll notice now we throw a bomb every, every four shots. Decent. Now, unfortunately, we don't actually control the direction the bomb goes. It is just random. So sometimes it will hit a pigeon. Sometimes it just won't do anything. Anyway, obviously, I'm trying to stay close to my house because I don't want birds to poo on the roof. Um, and, and my bullets don't actually go too far. You can increase the range with upgrades. But generally, it's better to stick close to your house. Play it safe. Um, right, we can level up our house again. Uh, top one makes it throw a bomb. Middle makes it throw a homing missile. Nice. But the bottom one, it creates an aura around the house, which increases the damage and size of bullets. Yes, please. So now you can see there's like leaves floating around my house. And if I go into here, look at the size of my bullets. Oh, and it does my it does my surround ones as well. Okay, we might be staying close to my house now. Uh, we've just leveled up again. I don't actually like the sound of any of those. So I'm going to hit reroll. So basically the character I'm using, they're like sort of special skill as I get to reroll once every single time. Uh, there's like, there's loads of different characters. They've all got like different upgrades, but this is one I'm using. So I should probably press reroll. Um, oh, and if we take the Odin Fury, that means we we do it more often. Uh, so now you'll notice we are shooting a bomb every two shots, which is awesome. <laughs> it's like so explodey. Yeah, and just sticking by a house, we are we're doing like the extra damage. We got the bigger bullets as well. Things are looking good. The downside is all the XP is sort of away from me. So I am gonna have to sneak out to go and get it. So let's go do a quick lap. A lap of the yard. Oh and look, we've leveled up. So Odin Fury, we can upgrade that to increase the number of projectiles. Does that mean we throw two bombs? Oh, we threw three bombs. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> um, and then our house has just leveled up as well. We could make our house throw bombs. I'm quite tempted by that. I'm also tempted by a re-roll as well though. Let's re-roll just see what we get. Oh yes, I'm glad I did. We've, uh, we're have we going to upgrade the Aurora so our bullet size will be 20% bigger and our bullets will pierce three enemies as well. So oh man, we are going to be unstoppable in here. This is awesome. Right, back out, get some XP. Yeah, we're really, we're not as strong out here at all. I really, I got to get back into my Aurora 
Aurora where I'm safe. I'm oiled bullets. Let's oil them up. Let's get greasy, baby. Uh, bullet velocity goes up by 20% and damage goes up by 30. That is banging. So we got two incoming they're down. There's another one over that way. That one is also down. I mean, thankfully, because I got the Aurora, birds aren't going to get close to my house anymore, really, because I'm pretty much stuck here. Oh, look, the Aurora, we can upgrade it again. So do we do the size of it by 50% or do we increase the damage by 50%? I think the damage, right? Gotta go damage in these sorts of games. And to be fair, with a bigger radius, I probably could get a bit more XP every so often, but I'm happy just chilling here for now. And then when it's safe, we'll head out, get some XP and level up. Yeah, so let's reroll those three and oh look, one up mushroom increases max health by one. It also fully heals me. I mean, I'm already fully healed, but yeah, let's have an extra, an extra bit of health. That is good. Uh, incoming Pua, incoming Pua, take him down. See, that is the trouble if you venture away from your house and a Pua comes in from the other side. You're not going to see it. So yeah, I can't venture too far. I've really got to get back every so often. Yeah, for this upgrade, I'm going to increase my fire rate by 10% and my movement speed by 30%. That should mean I can sort of zip around quicker, gaining all this XP. Before I head back to the safety of my house, where I've got the big bullets and extra damage. Right, we've got another aurora upgrade on our house it increases movement speed by 100 percent and the velocity of bullets as well Ooh, that could be quite good whoa i don't really want to move that fast it's <laughs> Okay, so look, this is my normal movement speed. And then, whoa, <laughs> when I go inside, I'm so fast. I'm so fast. I'm so fast that I've got another upgrade. So what are we going to take? Let's increase the damage of our projectiles, which are our bombs, basically. They now do twice as much damage as before. Um, so I'm pretty sure they probably one hit kill everyone. At least everyone so far. We will get big birds. There you go. There is a big bird down there. Take him out. All right, he's down. And look, he's dropped a chest, which as you can see up here is called a mighty reward. So top one is... Is elemental build. We're not going to go that because we're not using them. The BFG increases damage of bullets by 300% but reduces your rate of fire by 50%. Increases size of bullets by 50% as well though. Okay, I think I'll probably go that one. So we won't shoot as often but we'll do a hell of a lot more damage. Now the bottom one, mini mush, increases movement speed, rate of fire, velocity, and decreases size of player as well. Uh, yeah, let's do BFG. Oh wow, these actually, we're shooting way less now. I'm not sure this was a good idea, actually. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared now. I didn't realize how much my main weapon was actually helping me. Yeah, I don't like any of those. Let's re-roll. Yeah, let's increase the rate of fire. Let's try and get that back up again because I'm massively missing rate of fire. So a bit more killing of birds and we've leveled up again. It's the house this time. Shall we make the Aurora size bigger? May as well because then I can sort of, I can grab more and hopefully grab a little bit of XP. If I kill like close to my house then I can sort of nip out pretty quickly. Um, I'm so quick in here, it's mental. <laughs> so I'm going to do the top one, which freezes enemies every so often. I think, is it like an area effect thing? I'm not really sure. We'll have to see how it happens. But right, we're at the part of the game where there's like different enemies now. Can you see like bottom right, there's like a hench pigeon. Now obviously he's got more health and can do damage to me and stuff. There's also one that fires stuff at me, which I got to be careful for. Can you see that like flashy thing coming towards me? That's fine if it hits the house, but if it hits me, I lose a life. So I do need to be a little bit careful sort of make sure i dodge out the way as we get like more and more upgraded it's going to be harder and harder to see what the hell is going on so those projectiles coming in they're probably the ones that are going to kill me eventually um increases size of explosions by 40 percent and increases the range of our bombs yeah we'll take that so now our bombs do way more damage ah the big pigeons after me i've got to try and get back into my base right, here we go we're back in we're back in dodge the bullets coming down oh there's so many enemies up there that's quite scary i really need a bigger rate of fire i think yeah, this is a house upgrade. I'm going to re-roll. Is there anything decent? Not really. I guess we could give our house a sniper nest. Let's see. Oh, look. Did you see that? It's actually got a laser. Oh, you can actually see it sniping. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, I don't know why there's... It's like a frozen bird there. I can't seem to shoot that. I'm scared to walk into it in case it... Okay, it doesn't hurt me. I don't know why it's there. I think it's just a glitch. Um, anyway, let's go grab some XP. There's so much XP about now. Right, we've leveled up. We're going to increase our piercing ammo. So basically, we just fire three more enemies, which sort of makes our bullets a bit more a bit more efficient sort of thing. It's so sketchy out here. Oh, I think the freezing thing, that's not like a glitch. I think that's my, that's my upgrade thing. It literally just freezes an enemy like forever. I thought it'd freeze them so that I'd be able to kill them or something. Um, but apparently not. It just like freezes them in time so they never come back. Interesting. Anyway, here we go. Rifle 
scope. We're going to increase the velocity of our bullets and the range by 100% as well. Yeah, so now our bullets should go like all the way to the edge of the screen pretty much, which when I do the surround one is going to get some serious kills. Um, the trouble is as well, that means my XP is generally going to be off screen most of the time. So <laughs> I'm going to have to venture out the safety of my, of my aura. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go grab some XP. All right, upgrade sniper nest on the house. Is there any way I can upgrade by grabbing this XP? I tell you what, triple barrel might be worth taking. It increases the number of bullets by two, but it does reduce the damage by 20%. But I feel like that's an overall increase, isn't it? Oh yeah, look out. Look at the fire rate as well. We're doing like a triple attack. Oh, that's so much better. I'm so glad I took that. I think that's what I gotta do. I gotta like pick an area to like aim at while I'm in the Aurora. Oh, which this time will be left because we got the big ass pigeon. I'm gonna stay this side of my house. There he goes down and we've got a mighty reward. So exploding enemies, exploding bullets, the mini mush from earlier. I might re-roll actually. I don't I don't actually rate any of those. Mini magic gun increase the rate of bullets by 999% but extremely reduces the damage. I feel like that one's a trap. So I think I'm going to take plasma bullet. Bullets have a 10% chance to send a plasma bolt. So yeah, we're sick. Can you see like there's, there's like purple or pinky lightning bolts about? That's my plasma damage. And that's actually pretty decent, that. Yeah, I'm going to get an automated defense system for my house. It's going to fire a homing missile. And then I'm going to increase the size of those freeze zones. So I feel like that could actually be pretty useful in stopping the hordes later on. Because it's going to get it's going to get even more carnage. Like, if you think you can't see what's going on now, just give it a few more minutes. All right, let's head up here. There's a lot of XP up here. And over this way. Yep, yeah, here we go. Leveled up again. I might make myself move a bit faster just so I can get that XP a bit quicker. Yeah, that's seems to be working better. Let's head back to the house, clear all the enemies off the screen, and then we'll head back over in this direction. All right, looking at our bars, we're pretty close to upgrading both things. So if I just keep sticking with the plan, heading out, grabbing XP, running back like the wuss that I am, mullering more enemies, then we'll upgrade like anything. Right, damage increased by 10%. Yeah, I think that's worth taking because enemies are going to get harder and harder to kill over time. So doing more damage is always sensible in these sorts of games. We'll grab some more XP. Yeah, this birds after me. Uh, we'll make the house shoot three homing missiles. Decent. All right, and then I feel like our biggest sort of downfall at the moment is getting the XP. Like, it's so far away. I know there is an upgrade that sort of brings all the XP to you every, like, three minutes or something. Whether I can actually get that, I'm not sure. So, obviously, the upgrades are completely random, uh, but that definitely would help this build. I think that's the main limitation of this build at the moment. Ow! Although, saying that, I just... ah, oh, I got distracted. I got hit by a blimmin fireball thing. Anyway, do I increase my rate of fire by 10%? It's not a lot. Or do I re-roll? Let's re-roll. Anything good? Uh, an orbiting hammer, as well as increasing my damage by 10%. Yeah, sure. We'll make the house fire twice as fast. It's missiles. Ow, I just got hit again. I'm down to one health. No. Right, gotta be careful, Matt. Gotta be careful. It's mainly looking out for projectiles. It's just so hard to see what is going on. Like, there goes a projectile past my house. Go around this side of the house. Right, there's another one. There's another one. Head back up here. Ah. Right, I really... I need some XP. I need to level up. Oh, thankfully there is a boss. There is a boss. If I can stay on this side of the house, we should be fine. Yes. Okay. Please be something that gives me health. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Do I do 10% chance to explode or do I re-roll? I think I'm going to re-roll. Every three minutes, regenerate health. Oh, okay. Hopefully it will generate... Oh, I didn't regenerate one now. I thought it would do one straight away. Okay, so I've got to try and survive three minutes. And I've only survived 15 minutes in total in this whole game. Oh, thankfully the house level up gives us health. We're good. We are good. We're back to two health. I can relax a very, very small amount. Um, I really need to grab this XP. I'm just running out here. Sod it. All right, up here. Get the XP. Here we go. Create a shield to give me some protection. Yeah, I think that sounds wise as well. That's basically just another heart I've gained. And then we'll make the sniper shoot twice as fast. That sounds good to me. Oh, God. Meanwhile, the bloody... The big pigeons, like, take a crap load of damage now. Everyone's closing in. I don't like this. I don't like this. Mind the big pigeon, Matt. Mind the big pigeons. <laughs> when I next upgrade myself, I need I need more damage because we are struggling. The game has decided to step it up, which is fair enough. It was a bit easy. 
but it's not now. So the house has leveled up again. Blimmin' hell. Sniper does 100% more damage. All right, let's grab all this XP. There's so much XP out here. Ooh, so while my shield is active, we get increased bullets and bullet size. I've taken that and made my sniper on my house better as well. So we just need our shield to come back, and then our damage will go up massively. Oh, look at all this yummy XP. Ah, uh, get back to my house. All right, my house now has a Tesla installed, apparently. So you should see some lightning coming out of it if everything went to plan. Ooh, let's take the big magnet, because that means we can pick up XP from further away. Oh, that's actually going to properly save me. Oh, yeah, look at all that XP coming in. Yes, we are leveling up constantly now. Let's keep the Tesla Tower upgraded. We're leveling up so quickly. Keep the Tesla Tower upgraded. Oh, look, our damage has gone up because the shield is now active. So that means we're doing 25% more damage than we were doing. So I've just picked up a load of XP. We've upgraded again. Man, what, what do I take here? We'll make them throw fireballs at people and we're going to give ourselves a rocket launcher, I think. So yeah, there's a lot going on right now. There's, there's like Thor's hammer rotating about me. We're throwing bombs. We're throwing bullets. Uh, we also should be shooting rocket launchers as well. Now I'm going to try and head right and just make some space. Grab that XP. Get back to the house. Go the other direction. Oh yes. Level up again. Increases all element damage by 100%. Now the lightning and stuff is going to come into its own. Yeah look the screen is just like cleared of enemies. Because our bullets do the plasma damage which is elemental. It's just brutal. It's, it's wonderful. And look now there's fireballs that our house is flinging out as well. <laughs> oh this is awesome. Honestly, I struggled so much like when I played this off screen. Yeah, but this build has really outdone itself. Fair play, map slash randomness of game. Right, so I just made my hammer better. Like, look at the damage. We're doing like 7,000 damage to people. I just did 57 damage to something, I think. What the freak? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a lot of people coming in now. This is not good. I just lost my shield, which means I've lost 25% of my bullet damage. Um, let's increase the Tessa. I'm a bit worried they can get close now because I don't have my shield. I'm really not as powerful as I was. I mean, thankfully, elemental damage absolutely healing it for me. Look at all the electricity on screen. Although there's so much, I just got hit by another projectile. We're down to two, two health. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Right, I'm just gonna heal myself. Play it safe. Big tree! I won! I didn't know you could win! I killed 10,549 enemies! Oh, yes. You can see all the items I have. It's like an endless list. Uh, well, with all the stuff I've unlocked, there's upgrades you can get. So like any roguelite you see, you can upgrade your XP multiplier, your bullet spread, your bullet size, all that sort of stuff. And also, these are all the different characters. So that was the one I was using that has the reroll every single upgrade. But like all the other ones, they, sort, they start with like different towers and have different damages and health and stuff. Uh, so for a quid, which is what this game cost, I'd say actually recommend it. That was don't to my effed roof. If you enjoyed, boost like button. Otherwise, I'll say peace, love, and there was a swear word in the title. Bye!